Hey y'all, how you doing? So I'm just out here with James and where'd you go buddy? There you are. Hey, say hi. Hello. So I'm answering the question that people ask me all the time, including my neighbors when they see my lawn and they are curious, they'll ask me, how do you keep the weeds out without spraying any weed killer of any kind? Now, this is actually a very, very simple point. First of all, weeds are beneficial, so you don't need to think about squeezing the weeds out. When it comes to soil, bare soil is the enemy, pure and simple. That's the problem, any bare soil. So when you go in and kill the weeds, you're gonna leave wherever the weed was bare. Weeds are not your enemy, weeds are your friend. They're gonna, they're easier and more hardy to grow, so they grow where other plants won't, and they add to the soil. There's this incredible misconception that a weeds and competing plants will take out nutrients from the soil and, and they'll compete with your wanted plants for nutrients, and that's just not true. Usually weeds will help build your soil. Just for example, if, you, if you're getting a lot of dandelions, flat weeds, broadleaf stuff, that usually indicates that you're low on calcium. And those plants have a deep tap root and they'll bring calcium to the surface. But the fact is, the more plants you have, the more sunlight you're gonna capture, the plants are gonna do their thing, they're gonna turn it into food and carbon and inject that into the soil and the little bacteria are gonna eat it up and process it and then that more bacteria are gonna process that. So that's a long answer to the weeds. Here's the short answer. What you wanna do is just grow your grass so thick that there is no weeds. Now, right now it's March 30th, so it's cold and the grass is just starting to really green up and go, you know, grow good. But, you know, you just need a good organic fertilizer and some patience and consistency. And trust me, your grass will squeeze out the weeds. Healthy grass will flat out try to eat a sidewalk. And people are going to tell you that thatch, dead grass clippings, is a huge problem for your lawn. <laughs> I, you know, it's one of those professions. Lawn care is one of those professions that people don't know what they're talking about. Lawn care people rarely understand how the soil works they've bought into this notion of the more chemicals the better the more pesticides and herbicides that kill every living thing on your entire property are the way to go if you'll just do good soil management know what you're doing and let me help you just watch a few more of my videos and i'll explain how this all works you know when i moved into this house the previous homeowners had basically chemically burnt the lawn it had virtually hey come here bud chub you're back there it had basically completely dead soil no life no bacteria no earthworms no insects just dead soil with some very herbicide resistant perennial grass and people think that's a nice lawn in fact that's what's happening to our farmland our farmland is just as I just described empty hollow dead full of uh, bare soil erosion and it'll turn to desert if we keep going this way it'll literally turn to desert so that's all for now, my friends. Keep watching. I'll teach you how to grow well. I'll teach you how to plant well. I'll teach you how to cook well. And I'll teach you how to parent well. 
And I'll give you a few home hacks, too. All right, you want to say bye, Bub Chub? The works equals. No, we're still the worms equals. Ah. We're still the worms equals. You know why? Why? Because we got a bunch of earthworms in our soil. I guess that's true. Which most people don't have. Okay. All right, let's sign off.